Okay, today's date is July 6th, 2016, and I'm doing this recording on distilled water, talking about drinking distilled water, and it's just actually kind of, you know, funny that I happened upon this. I was just listening to a YouTube video on my phone and when it was finished it kicked over to drinking distilled water. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard of this before. So I did some more listing and read a few websites on it and so on. And I'm too early, of course, having just found it, read uh, about uh, half a dozen pages to feel like I know it well enough, but I'm going to be looking into it some more. But just thought, just for information's sake, to throw it out there to let everyone know, you know, that I just found about this. And for those who have not heard of it before about drinking distilled water and the benefits that it might offer and they can look into it themselves. I am Yalak and uh, it's because you have to say little silly things like um, what I'm about to say about being careful about it then I'll go ahead and say it. Um, you know you may or may not have a condition in your body that uh, might cause you not to be able to drink this right now maybe you're on some medication that might be affected by this although so far i'm not sure you know how that would actually be possible but just in case then maybe switching to distilled water might be a problem for you i'm not sure so make sure you talk to some kind of doctor or uh, you know and of course do your research on this first talk to some people about it see what they think and so on do your research but talk to someone who's medically trained and so on before you try to take this on i know i'm definitely gonna gonna try for sure drinking distilled water based on the little i've seen and i'm gonna continue to look into it maybe sometime in the future i'll do another recording to show you my changes like i've been trying to change my life now since the start of the year um you know Actually, since last year, I've been doing different things to to change the way I live, and I kind of you know upped it, um, you know, because some things have just really you know changed me over time, right? Like I'm a completely different person than I was ten years ago, if you knew me. Like just really, and there's still some more stuff I want to change, right? And just realizing that this life is not quite the kind of life and world that we that we thought it was. We've been we've been taught some things that just are really ridiculous, you know, compared to the knowledge and information and the lifestyle of people who lived a couple thousand years ago, four or five thousand years ago, you know. I mean, it, we, we live completely different. Completely different. Um... And so I've been trying to change my life and, uh, you know, just realizing that, yeah, I think things are just really different, you know. And also, I mean, I was living on the street just, you know, for a small part of this past winter, of course, really cold. Thankfully, I had a car, um, sleeping in my car and so on. And, you know, it just gave me some time to reflect and think about the different things in my life, you know, that I've been taught and so on. And. Uh, I'm really glad that I've stumbled upon this because this is going to now be a part of the changes that I've made. Um, and if you're wondering, thankful I'm no longer on the street right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm still continuing to change my life because of just the, the sharp nature of different things that have really, you know, ruined my life and uh, just doing my best to change it for, for the better and uh, to help people as well just to change the way that they think another one of the things i'm trying right now is to not eat meat um you know at some point i'm gonna have to deal with it in a bigger way because i know there's stuff in the bible now about the sacrifices of the old testament and uh, you know eating meat and so on so at some point i'm gonna have to deal with that but i've just started to look into this um for three weeks now, I am meat free. I haven't had meat for, you know, I'm in the third week now. I'm really glad about that. 
um, just to see what kind of difference it makes to the way I think and feel to, you know, how often I might get sick from general, like normal kind of sickness, like maybe just, you know, feeling fatigued or common cold, flus, things like that and so on, or low, I don't normally get the flu that often. Um, but anyway, to get to this drinking water stuff, from what I've gathered so far, and they'll just be mingle, mingled into what I'm reading here online, partially from one or two websites. This website is www.drdavidwilliams.com forward slash distilled dash water. And that's just so you know where I'm reading from. You can go and look it up yourself um, and read the whole article. This article here by Dr. David Williams is entitled Learn Distillation Basics and the Answers to Frequently Asked Questions. It goes, you would think that drinking water that meets Environmental Protection Agency EPA standards would be safe and healthy, but it's actually one of your biggest health risks. Even safe water may contain acceptable amounts of lead, arsenic, mercury, radioactive particles, and a long list of other poisons to illustrate this point. It's funny, too, that I found this, and I'm reading this now, because for the past few years, um, I've been listening to a radio show in London, Ontario, and, uh, you know, while driving in my car and so on, to work and so on, and they've been talking about, it's the um it's the andy Udman show actually and every now and then he gets this lady on i think her name is pam killeen um and they're talking about removing fluoride from the water they're pushing and fighting for that because fluoride is is you know it's it's destroying our bodies and our teeth and so on we know we've got that in toothpaste um but it's in our it's in the water a, a lot of places i think they mentioned sweden doesn't have it and the people get the benefits of it there uh but, they, but they're fighting for it here to, to get it out um i understand as well that hitler had fluoride in the water and i think they're saying that it kind of lulls the brain to sleep in certain ways you know where you see certain things happening in society and you're just you just don't have any feelings to it or any drive to to, to speak up and do something about it right but you know, so I guess it, you know, fluoride was used politically then um, and still happens today. So, you know, you might want to look into that. I guess as well that fluoride being removed from your water is more healthy for you, for your teeth and so on, for your skin so you and for your hair. So you can even shower with water that doesn't have that in it, right? Um, as well as with, you know, drinking and showering with distilled water. Um, if you go on, if you go on reading here, he says a long list of other poisons that are in the that's you, you, you're going to find in the water. To illustrate this point, there are more than seventy-five thousand chemical compounds. That's a lot used by industry and agriculture, and thousands more added each year. That's even more. Many unregulated. Um, then he says eighty percent of these chemicals have never been tested for long-term chronic toxicity. It's estimated that 20 billion tons of chemicals, radioactive waste, and pollutants are introduced into the environment each year. And hello, chemtrails. And the belief is that most of these toxic chemicals eventually reach our water supply. And it's like we're breathing in this stuff as well, not just drinking it in our water, but we're, we're, we're breathing it in with all these chemtrails that they say they're spraying certain chemicals in the air. So your rain is falling down with it where water, rain water should actually be pure water, distilled water, which I'm just learning today for the first time in my life. Although I was looking into rain water a few months ago, um, distilled, um, I mean, spraying those chemicals in the air with the chemtrail stuff, um, that's going to affect your brain and, and your, your skin, your body. It's spraying on your food as well, on fruits and vegetables that we're eating and so on, right? So, I mean, what a, what a world we live in. In the United States, the EPA has evaluated and set standards for only a small percentage of the more than 700 chemicals found in drinking water supplies. So really, you're not just drinking water. You're drinking water plus, right? You're drinking water plus. 
Yeah, so so that's just a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, it's shocking. I believe in the Bible there's a verse, um, I don't know where to find it, I don't want to stop to read it because I didn't want this video to be, you know, longer with, with scriptures and so on. Um, and I don't remember where it's found, but there's a, a verse where the Most High is punishing Israel and he says, excuse me, that we're going to be scattered into different lands, um, you know, captivity and so on, and, and uh, there you're going to eat corrupt food or something like that. So, hey, here here it goes, right? But, I mean, everybody is being made to drink this stuff, except, I guess, only the, the elite and the rich and so on who, you know, have done their research and so on and have all these fancy stuff that they can actually get you know the nicer food purer foods cleaner foods and cleaner water as well but if you look on youtube like i was doing apparently there are people who are, are making their own distilled water in their own house so go and look that up i'm not going to explain how they do that go and look them up um yourself and see if you want to do um that um or just buy a machine and whatever but um Distil distillation is the only viable option because municipal water treatment facilities can't remove all toxins the only solution is to take advantage of water filtration technology for your own home my first choice for safe drinking water is distillation because it safely removes all contaminants it's a fairly simple process in which water is heated until it boils and turns to steam the boiling action kills bacteria and other pathogens, and as the steam rises, it leaves behind waste material, minerals, heavy metals, and other heavier contaminants. The steam is then cooled and returns to water. Now, as a child growing up, I mean, we still do it today. Sometimes you hear when there's some kind of water crisis or whatever, or they're just doing road work, they say water will be shut off for a few hours a day when it comes back on it might be dirty boil your water before you drink it right and as a child in jamaica you know our parents used to do this as well it boiled the water um so we're used to that but i guess they're going a little step further to say the steam is then cooled and returns to water so you know when you're using those old kettles and you boil the water steam comes off well i guess new kettles as well you don't you don't try to trap that steam to to reuse it as water when it cools again so so i guess that's the extra step that that you need to do um okay so you know without me getting scientific because i'm still looking into it having just found this today these are just um the the from the article points from the article that this doctor is mentioning so i'm going to do some more studying so you need to do your own looking into it as well and to see if as they're saying it removes all the contaminants or if you might need to do something more to get rid of more contaminants right look into it yourself now um this other article here okay well i guess it's still it's still from www.drdavidwilliams.com um but this is just a frequently asked questions about distillation let me see if I can read one or two of these questions um, they've got here on its website. Um, okay, yeah. I've heard that distilled water is acidic. I know you prefer that we keep our bodies as alkaline as possible. So how can distilled water be good for us? Yeah, because they say, I guess you should try to eat, um, I don't know, like 70 to 80% more alkaline foods than acidic foods because that's more healthy for your body um that's that's what they say and now i've been trying to follow that but as to looking into the more scientific explanations of that i still need more time with that but I, i've i've been trying for a while now quite a while i'd say from maybe last summer to eat more alkaline stuff and to be honest with you i was actually getting very sick um like a year and a half to two years ago and when I started following this alkaline diet a little bit more, although I don't do it as well as I should, and sometimes I slack, out, slack off more than other times, but I've been really following it and I'm impressed with myself and I feel far much better today. Like, I mean, I was lacking a lot of energy, sludgy, just feeling drained. I've never been one to sleep in daytime, never. People talk about a 15 minute power nap in the daytime. I tried that stuff for years, couldn't do it. I just can't sleep in the daytime. 
but I found myself just taking the time. It actually let me use my brain to think you need to stop and slow down, take a little rest. Now, I didn't actually fall asleep per se because it's just hard for me to fall asleep in daytime, although once or twice I did. But normally I just like, you know, but at least when I didn't fall asleep, I would rest by just sitting down or laying down for those 15 minutes um, and it actually helped my body. And by changing the food I, I, you know, I eat for the past, you know, year, year and a half, I feel more relaxed, more rested. My thought processes are better. I'm clearer in my thinking. I can focus more on whatever I'm thinking and so on. I still got a ways to go to clear some stuff. But just to give an idea, I never did go to the doctor, but maybe close to two years ago, I thought I was going to die. Um, I thought I had some weird, strange disease, some, some virus that was going on or whatever. And I think at the time, too, there was, what's the virus again? Um, Ebola. I mean, you know, it's like, scary. I'm like, am I getting Ebola here? Because, I mean, I was wiped out. I barely pushed myself to go to work. Thankfully, my half that job doesn't get me going to work every single day of the week. So on those days off, I could get more rest. But... I mean, I barely pushed myself, almost got in an accident, almost crashed um, one day because of this problem that I was having, right? Where I just grew really sick and it took me nine months to come out of it. No joke. Nine months. And then a further three months or a full year before I, I could say, okay, uh, I'm mostly past it, right? And even to this day, now it's been close to... A, I'm thinking maybe a year and a half and there's still a trickle of it but at least much better I never went to the doctor and took pills and all that kind of stuff for it right prescription and all that but I was basically just um, ha having a bad bad case of nasal drip they call it where um, you know I just needed to cough up and spit up phlegm it was really bad this is nothing like like a flu your average flu or anything i mean i was just like about to die i was on the floor i had to lay on the floor sleep on the floor sleeping in the bathroom sorry to gross you up it's so i could be close to the toilet to throw up in the toilet i was sewing up in paper bag sorry in plastic bags by my bed multiple towels to, to i mean sorry to gross you i'm telling you i was getting really sick i was getting very very sick it was extreme I've never been sick like this, I don't think, in my life. And they're talking about nine months, right? For the, uh, but, but the main part of it ran for about six months. To have a sickness that long, and I, I, you know? But I'm like, I just don't want to go uh, to a doctor and get more prescription to put more stuff in my body. It's like, I mean, I, I always start to change my mind, right? Um, but, I, but And that's what kind of led me to say I got to start eating more alkaline. Um, and that's what actually helped me pull out of it. By the time I figured it out, I was gone quite a few months. Um, but I, but I was throwing up a lot, like repeatedly, sometimes five to six times per, um, you know, like a two or three hour period and so on. I couldn't keep anything down really bad. I was losing a lot of weight. People were commenting on that. Excuse me. I was getting massive headaches. That was just like, like, just like really ridiculous. Um, I was disoriented, um. Uh, I couldn't, sometimes I couldn't walk straight, different things like, I mean, it was better for me to just sit down or lay down instead of trying to get up and walk around and do things. I would actually not eat because it was too difficult to concentrate on making something to eat. You know, so, I mean, it was it was crazy. I, I needed something hot, like some tea to drink because that would help my stomach at that time. Um, and I was too disoriented, too sick, too weak to actually go and make some tea that's how bad it was right and other conditions i don't want to get into but i was i was i thought i was really going to die i thought i had some really bad disease or virus um and i'm telling you that by changing my diet you know i could uh i, I actually changed my health and i'm still working on it now right so i mean for me changing my life one of the big things was you know i, I don't want to really take this video to bash Christianity, right? Because I've talked so much about them in my other videos. But I'm telling you, when I was a Christian, I never looked into common sense issues too much. I just didn't care. But now, being out of Christianity and reading the scriptures in the Old Testament, I can see that it talks a lot about common sense daily issues in your life, such as the food you should eat, which is a big part of life. I mean, how can you live without food? So then you got to eat the proper kind of food, right? So well, by looking into these things, um, 
you know, coming out of that Christian mindset, I start to see the world in different ways. And now I start to say, why should I sit down and pray, pray, pray to be healed by this Jesus who never heals people? Although some say he does. Right? But I start to say, why, why be sitting down praying alone? Okay, if I'm going to pray to the Creator, that's great. But get up and do something as well. Look at the food you're eating that you're putting in your body that actually might be causing the problem. And now we're hearing that the water that's actually causing problems, right? So they're saying, I've heard distilled water is acidic. Um, you know, it can distilled water then be good for us? Because I guess they say distilled water is acidic. So he says, whether it comes from a store-bought jug or a distiller at home, um, the, the acidity occurs because carbon dioxide from the atmosphere dissolves in the water, creating a very dilute solution of car of carbonic acid. Distilled water in a container that's been sitting open for a while could have a pH uh, in the range of six um and he says you know for comparison vinegar has a ph of about four or 100 times as acidic all right as that water that's been sitting in an open jug for for a little while um your body responds to this trivial amount of ac acidity by producing more stomach acid so i guess to deal with that so basically they're trying to say don't be scared of drinking distilled water because it's acidic when you're trying to eat and consume more alkaline foods, right? Um, I've read that distilled water leaches minerals out of your body. Is that healthy? This assertion is made because distilled water doesn't have any minerals of its own. However, most of the minerals we take in come from food, not water. And the fact is that your kidneys do a fine job of keeping your minerals in proper balance. As long as your kidneys are functioning normally, but have no problems drinking distilled water. Okay, I'm going to get away from uh, this doctor's information now and just share some stuff that uh, I've just quickly read um, this morning when I found out all this stuff and started reading as well as from uh, uh, I think I only listened to one YouTube video so far really on the on the subject and only listened to a part of it but from that little part and the reading I've done um, here's what I gathered before I close out this video on drinking distilled water in regards to the acidity of distilled water like that doctor is saying it's not that much and your kidneys are going to take care of you if your kidneys are functioning well, right? Um, apparently it seems that, you know, the distilled water is just an overall healthy way to handle your body, right? And to, to treat your body. It's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, healthy hair and so on, um, and so on and so forth, right? But the acidity now, uh, I found this guy there in one of the YouTube videos that's showing that the acidity from his research um, is dealing with removing one of two types of minerals. So normally you'll hear someone, because I didn't list the videos, but I saw some videos with titles talking about don't drink distilled water and some captions that are saying it's too acidic, it's going to remove the minerals from your body. Um, so you shouldn't drink the distilled water because distilled water is really pure water so how can it be a problem so partly what what's being pointed out here is that the the acidity in distilled water removes the inorganic minerals in your body inorganic minerals like from stones and so on has i guess inorganic minerals but he's saying basically you've got two inorganic you've got two minerals two types of minerals in your body organic and inorganic so the, the acidity in the distilled water is removing the inorganic minerals in your body which is what you want to happen anyway but it's going to leave intact the organic minerals which are good and healthy for your body so you shouldn't be scared of drinking uh, uh, distilled water all right now what i'm finding out is that a lot of the information that's coming out on, on different healthy foods that were that that's being cut out of our diets is is happening because it's clear that that the the people who are in charge of running our world and actually a company like Monsanto comes to mind right now who are in charge of running our world uh, and managing the food and so on um, they 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 are big on deception and so they keep away a lot of things that are good for us right a lot of things that are good for us. Um, sometimes you hear someone comes up with an invention like 50 years ago and or 150 years ago and this person is done for they they're they're fought against they're called a madman and so on or they're you know um their information is confiscated and they're ruined financially and so on next thing you know they they show up dead 
or they just disappear mysteriously and all their information is confiscated and so on and it turns out that that kind of information for whatever device that they um, made or whatever invention it was or whatever food they found out about that's healthy for us was actually good for us and they found it out but it's being kept from the public so what you understand now is that is that by looking at this stuff in my my research and looking at this stuff because you know by, by reading the old testament i'm finding out that wisdom is actually really in the old testament when you study the the law or the instructions of the creator that's where true wisdom is and so you know his law makes the the simple wise right and so you're learning more now you're improving yourself by improving your knowledge right and don't they say knowledge is power so when you see all these inventions and so on and, and uh as being hidden from people and what's this guy nikola tesla uh, the stuff that he came up with and all of a sudden it just came to nothing but now you see all this fancy stuff that only certain privileged people and military and so on are able to benefit from and the free hydro that we could be getting use of um, but it's just robbed from us you know even though he was coming out with it he wanted this stuff free for everybody um, so so I mean you got to look at it whenever people come up with things that are beneficial for for the earth for everybody that lives on the earth they are branded as some lunatic or whatever or funding is removed from them um they're they're given funding to to develop it to a certain point and when it looks like whoa this this stuff is good and it's going to change uh, you know mankind uh we're, we're all going to benefit from this then it's funding is removed from them if they don't stop it funding is removed from them so they can't continue it any further and then the project just goes into some secret um movement and you never hear anything about it again and only certain people benefit while the masses of the public continue to die or get sick or have harder life because the the benefit was removed it couldn't be developed anymore whatever was being worked on right so yeah i mean it's 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 just it's just clear you got to look into these things for yourself to try to change your life make yourself better make your body healthier and cut down on these diseases you know you hear of these chemtrails spraying, spraying all this stuff in the air and so on you got to start drinking this stuff i was looking about a year ago into rain water right and they're, they're making it seem like i mean they're spraying chemtrails now so it's affecting rain but they're making it seem like you're gonna get sick i've heard that stuff from a child you're gonna get sick if you stay out in the rain when the truth is as children when the rain would fall in Jamaica, we would dash outside and we would stay outside like for an hour just playing in the rain. Playing in the rain. And we were healthy. We were healthy. We were healthy. Now I can't go out in the rain because life is so busy. I got to get home. I don't want to get my car seat wet so I can't soak in the rain. I, I just, I don't want to get sick because I'm told I'm going to get sick. And you, the delusion and the deception on our world today is such that I can spend my whole childhood playing in the rain and not get sick from it but when i grow up and become an adult and move to this country now i'm being told if you're in the rain you are going to get sick and i didn't get sick from it before you see it's crazy now rainwater is actually um uh, by the way distilled water sounds like a fancy name right but it's actually pure water so distilled water is pure water is good for you and distilled water is also purified water which is another term that you will find right so i mean we, we hear about distilled water in those old time car batteries i don't know they probably still use those batteries today but that's actually pure water you're pouring into the car battery i didn't know and i'm spending money to buy distilled water to pour into my car battery years ago and didn't know i could just use some pure water um but i don't know maybe they i don't know if they added something else because you put in the car battery i don't know but anyway distilled water is just a term for pure water and purified water is distilled water as well so sometimes you hear distilled water sometimes they hide things from the public that are good for the public by using some mechanical name some functional name or some scientific name that's more out there that most people are going to try to remember because the name is so long with like two or three words built into it some hyphenated words or a long scientific name that attempts to use all the letters of the alphabet so most people will just ignore it and uh, whatever when in this case distilled water is just purely a distillation process that the water goes through you boil it to steam and then you run it off or whatever they do to it right but basically distilled water is just pure water or sometimes you see in the bottle purified water all it is is pure water rain water is also distilled water or pure water that's right rain water so you're not supposed to be scared of rainwater. Did the aboriginals and ancient peoples on the earth 
um, get scared of rainwater. Now you might say, well, they were hiding in caves when it was raining. Or maybe they didn't want to get wet and soaked all the time, so they just stayed in the caves and pulled their people in, right? Or stayed in their hut and pulled their children in the hut. But it's clear they were not afraid of, of rain water because it was pure water and it was the only water they had. Sometimes, uh, mostly they would try to live by riverside or seaside or so on, right? But in places where they couldn't live close by it, they were just living off pure rain water because it was pure water and they weren't getting sick. And all of us living to know today know that aboriginals of the earth, um, people that were living thousands of years ago, were more healthy than we are today. All this stuff they're putting in their foods and selling us on shelves and so on. These people didn't have to deal with it. And there are people living on the earth right now who are just using rainwater, which is pure water or distilled water that's coming from the heavens. And they're fine. And they don't have cancer. They're not getting arthritis. They're not getting sick. They're not getting headaches. They're not getting all these stuff that we're dealing with. High blood pressure and all kind of stuff, right? Right? Also, water from vegetables and fruits, when you bite into a fruit and it's got water, a lot of water content, melons and so on, water from these fruits and vegetables is just like the water in your body. It is pure water. But some technical name might be distilled water. So technically, you could say the distilled water is the water that you find in vegetables or, or fruits. Right? Only that it doesn't go through a distilled process itself right because it's just growing in it and they're also saying your your body has a high water content you're like pardon me for putting it this way you're like a water being even though you seem more like a solid being right you right and so and, and just to point it again the deception in how the earth functions especially with all these ancient uh, cults and ancient religions that used to pressure people to worship idols and so on right they use deception in your mind to make you think something that's that looks real but it's not so it's like you've got a lot of water even in your body you're eating fruits and vegetables um, that has a lot of water in it that's pure or water which is the equivalent to distilled water but they're telling you even though your body is made up of a lot of water a lot of pure water that you shouldn't drink pure water or you shouldn't drink distilled water because it's bad for you and stay away from rain water because it's bad for you that's utter garbage right now to close it off here this distilled or pure or purified water fights against the effects of chemtrails heart problems, high blood pressure, skin problems, you know, um, the effects of fluoride, removing fluoride from your water helps with that as well. Now, like I said, I'm still looking into it, so I don't know if it removes all of it, the, the, the filtration of dis distilled water. Um, um, but it seems like it does, so hit me if you know more about the fluoride stuff, but it looks like it does remove the fluoride uh, probably fully. Um, uh, it's it's better for you here if you you know if you're washing yourself like bathing in it and washing your hair in this pure distilled water is better for your skin your hair and so on um, your teeth everything right when you're drinking this kind of water it's better for your thinking and mental process and, and fatigue and so on overall it's just good right from what I'm finding so far so as I get studying if I find anything that's more critical or that will undo any of this information if I've mentioned anything that that is incorrect here um, then as I study, I'll correct it. But overall, it seems like pure or distilled water, purified water, rainwater, water in your body, that's naturally in your body, water in fruits and vegetables and so on, that's all pure water. And distilled water is just some technical or functional or deceptive kind of name or scientific kind of name for, 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 for all this stuff, right? Distilled water, purified water, pure water, it it's all means the same thing. And apparently, it's good for your body. Check it out, do your research, um, and uh, help yourself out. You'll feel better, more healthy.